All right, how to break glass with string. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there that are uh, that show how this is done. Um, they're soaking the string in acetone, they put it around the bottle, and um, they light it and dunk it in cold water and it breaks like with ease. A lot of the skeptics are saying that they're using a glass cutter to scribe around the bottle first, and then that's, they put the string on. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, so I'm going to try it myself. I got everything that you need to do this trick. You got your string, two different types of string, nail polish remover with acetone, um, glass bottles, lighter, and ice cold water. So I'm going to get to it and we'll see if it works or not. All right, got the uh, string pre soaked acetone around the, I went around the bottle about 20 times Oh, it seems to work really good. All right, try some uh, Robert Mondavi private selection. <clears throat> Taking the bottom off of these wine glasses, I'm going to show you in just a little bit what somebody showed me. They could, why you would take the bottom of the glass off instead of making a cup out of it. You make a nice little decoration piece. Let's see if this works. It's kind of a little thicker there at the base. Gotta spin it real slow. Not real slow, but gotta spin it slow. That one didn't work so well. It really busted the heck out of the glass. Pretty cracked. And broke way above the way above the string. There's lots of cracks in there. So that one didn't work as well. But the other ones, most of them work pretty good. Um, with the exception of this wine glass, it cut really jagged. But on the uh, Bex glass, it cut nice. And I uh, already gave it a nice little sand so it's not sharp.
All right, so that worked a whole lot better than I thought it would. I actually didn't think it was going to work at all. I thought it was a big hoax. I, uh, I really thought I was going to need to scribe it with a glass cutter, which I didn't at all. Um, the Bex glass cut pretty nice and straight, except for right there, but sand it out. And I could even spend more time with the sander on that and get that to go completely flat, I think. Um, it didn't work very well on the brown glass. Um, it really cracked the heck out of it all over and didn't break evenly. Um, same with the Robert Mundavi glass. It cut really unevenly and dangerously. I could probably spend some time with a Dremel tool or something and cut that off flat, but I'm not going to. It's junk. Uh, this one cut off pretty good. That's down at the bottom, and some of you might say, why would you cut it at the bottom? Because you can't really use it as glass. And the reason being is I saw somebody do this on YouTube with a candle. And uh, a ladder. Just a little decorative piece for your table. Light your candle. And you put your bottle over it. I guess that works if you're the romantic type or decorative type. It also works with the top of the Bex bottle. Do the exact same thing with a little shorty. I don't know, like maybe in the middle of the dining room table or something. I could see it at a restaurant. You get three or four of these all together. That would look pretty nice. Anyways, there you have it. It works. It, you should try it. It's pretty cool. Um, I really don't have any use for it. I'll never use this as a glass. Um, I could probably put pins in it, but um, I throw pins in a drawer. So there's, prob there's a lot of things you can do with this stuff, but it's just not for me. It was fun to try and learn and know that, yeah, it's possible. Um, let me know what you think, uh, or if you have any ideas uh, or something I should try, or something you'd like to see, let me know. I'll give it a shot. All right, thanks for tuning in.